Hi guys, my name is Rosie. I'm with Lime Life by Alcon. Today we are doing the 50s look. I don't know if I did the hair right, but I tried. But we're going to try and do the 50s look. Let me get myself shared out and then we'll do the 50s look. I already did my hair because it took me forever and it took me forever to figure out this, so... I'm excited. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Brianna. I'm trying to share this out. But, let's see. I might have to figure it out later. I'll just figure it out later. But I did the hair. So let's get started with the 50s look. Which, I mean, it's plain and simple. It's nothing out of the ordinary. Is this my Shinto? Yep. I'm going to use my Shinto today. I already did pretty much my eyebrows. Because I know they in the 50s they was pointy. So, I tried to accomplish that. Hey, Lynn. Hi, Trish. I'm going to try and do this 50s look. I did most of the brow. What are y'all doing today? I can't get this one as pointy. And this is my pointy one. Go figure. I can't tell. Do you like the hair? It took me forever. Haley, help me curl it because it's so long. <sighs> I want to go in with my Zero Concealer and clean these brows up a little bit. But I did it the best I knew how by watching videos. I just can't talk and do the eyebrows or I, I remove the eyebrows. <laughs> do you like it, Lynn? I had to go back and rewatch a video because I'm like, wait a minute. How'd she do that? I know she rolled it, teased it and rolled it, but I took the hot, the, what do you call it? Not the hot iron. The wand. I took the wand to it. And I'm not going to put this concealer all on my eyes. So it will be fine. I was trying to remember. I think they had them dark right here. They didn't bring them in. Hi, Jessica. 50s vibe already with that hair. Yeah, I love the hair. Maybe this will come back in style. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, the I wish I had hot rollers, but I did, and I took my wand to it. But I mean, it did fine. I just had to tease it. I just had some hair oil in my hair, and well, actually, the due date, and it made it a little not cooperative. 
Okay, I'm going to go in with our cream boat, which is number 38, I do believe, right here for a base. Considering that I'm having issues with my eyes with some allergies or something. So, I'm just going to use the cream boat instead of a concealer. Because, I mean, it makes a pretty good base. And I'm going for the natural look anyway. So, I might have to take a sweater off. It was freezing cold in here when I got home. I'm loving the texture powder I've been using. Your eyes look much better than they did. Yeah, they look better, but they're still kind of scaly. And I don't want to leave, <clears throat> put too much product on them. But the 40 Cure Cream and the One Drop Wonder has helped so much. It's unbelievable. Okay. I'm going to take my fan brush that I use for my foundation. I love applying my foundation with this brush. Here are my buttons. I just dipped into the zero concealer, the, uh, the olive concealer. I mean, foundation. I'll get right in a minute. Yeah, I had some texture uh, spray, and that's what I put in my hair. I love it too. It won't apply any other way. Oh, with this, yeah. I love this brush. Thank you, Kim. But we're just going for the natural look they did in the 50s. And guess what? That's when this foundation was created, I do believe. In the 50s. To professionals. For on the movies. Because I mean they didn't do anything real dr dramatic. Thank you, Kim. That's pretty much half a face. Yep, lips and lipstick and mascara, and that was it. Speaking of, where's my mascara? Got to get her warmed up. It's a little bit harder to get your brush down in there, but it's okay. I've had many residents that grew in that area. I bet you do, Lynn. I love looking at old pictures. Love it. Yeah, they still wear their red lipstick. The hair scarves. Oh, I bet that's so adorable. And they would love this look. Got the only texture hairspray I could find, but this powder is different. I don't even know, but it makes my hair so different. Yeah, the textured spray will. I don't like the textured spray, but if you're going to do something like this, it's perfect.
Hi, Heather. I think that's it for the foundation. I think if I don't have anything else on point, I got the eyebrows and the hair on point. <laughs> Definitely. I'm not much of a hair scarf person. I don't have the head. It won't stay. So I just don't mess with it. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do a whole lot, to be honest, because they didn't. And I think I'm going to use my bronzer and this one right here, actually, to do the eyes and the cheeks. So, I'm just going to use this brush and go in with the number... I'm not sure what number that is. Number one? Yeah, number one bronzer. And I'm going to tone it down because they had more of the rosy red cheeks. The black scarf is your favorite. I'm about to take this sweater off. I'm burning down. Okay, so I'm going to take that same and just kind of put it right here. Same thing over here. I think that's good. What do y'all think? And then I'm going to dip into this pink, which is the shadow, and just kind of pop it right here. Same thing over here. phone's going off. I don't know. Okay. But I think I'm going to take and put a little bit of the let me see. I can't see. I should have kept that paper open. I mean paper. That photo open. I haven't decided which lipstick. I don't know if I want cherry pie. I'm not going to contour nothing like that because they really didn't contour anything. But I am going to have to find me some blush here in a second. Let's say what blush. What blush shall we use? 
Um, I guess I'm going to, let's see. Let's do the blushing. I know my camera's blurring a little bit. I think that's it, guys, besides, like, my mascara. What do y'all think? And this makeup, it is... It looks great on camera or photographs. What color do y'all think? This one is cherry pie. And this is candy apple. I'm thinking probably the cherry pie. I'm burning up. I don't know why it's wanting. Here we go. Okay. So, I'm going to put on some eyeliner. Let's see if I can do this. No. That would be... Well, I'm going to try, guys. I can't talk and put on my scare, that's for sure. Or eyeliner. Or my eyebrows. But still, look at that coverage. Alrighty, this still ain't warm, I don't believe. Let's work on lips. I'm going to take this red. This is waterproof. It's self-sharpening. Uh, we have these in multiple colors. I have to run to the store. I'm out of coffee. Alright, Lynn. I need to hurry myself. I gotta cook dinner. I think I got it. Okay. One click, it's on. Two click, it's sharpened. Now, I was asking if I should do cherry pie or um, candy apple. I'm thinking cherry pie. So, we'll just do cherry pie. And then, these are... Very pigmented. They go on kind of like a gloss, but dry matte. 
and they last four to six hours. And they do not dry your lips out. All of our products are made to order. Well, the foundation is. But they're all perfected. There we go. But Alcon started first with the movies. And it was in the 50s, so that's why I chose to do the 50s. Mainly red lipstick. Um, I think this is warm enough. But this is pretty much the look. This might be the quickest live I've ever done. What do y'all think? <laughs> but this mascara has this is the first ever fiber mascara and it has been perfected and no one is able to create this product but you know how usually when you put regular mascara on and it like clumps and you have flakes falling off your face all day well, this one does not do that. And I got it on my eye, but we'll let it dry, and then I'll just pluck it off. I have tried with regular, some of the regular mascara. You cannot flake it off. It's not going to happen. Well, the one that I had on the one day didn't. But ours, after you let it dry, you just flake it off. And you can make your lashes as long as you want them like falsies. By just going back and tipping them after it dries. But that is with one coat. I don't know if y'all can tell real good where I got it on my eye. But I'm going to try to let that dry a little bit before I flake that off. I like the cherry pie better than I like the candy apple. Candy apples are like pop out there. And I, got, I don't even have a spoolie. Hang on, let me flip it. Let's see if y'all can see a difference now. There we go. So this is with... I'm trying to get it to where y'all can see, but it's not happening. But we get ours warm because it's wax-based. And it goes on smoother. There you go. Now let's see if I can do this side without making a mess. Because I always usually make a mess. This sweater is burning me up, guys. It was like an iceberg in here. Yeah, I can't talk and do my lashes. Probably because I make funny faces. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. Whew, doggies. Let me see if this one's... Okay. So what do y'all think so far with the 50s look? Do y'all like the 50s look? I mean, it wasn't many steps. Just regular old put, putting your makeup on. I don't know what to fix for dinner today. What are y'all having? Give me some ideas to cook. I need something kind of simple. Maybe spaghetti. I haven't fixed spaghetti in a while. Because I don't care much for spaghetti at all. Okay, I guess this is it, guys. Quick, simple. Even though I messed up, watch at me. I don't know if y'all can tell the lashes. I can, but, you know. Can y'all tell the lashes? I don't like curling them. What do y'all think with the 50s look? Do y'all like the 50s look? Alright, well, I'm going to hop off here. This was my 50s look. We got more planned for the rest of the week. So, come join me and maybe win some prizes. Not many was talking, so I'm not doing a game until more people get on here and start talking. Sorry, but I mean, it cost me money to send them. So I'm going to send out the ones I've already sent out. But are going to send out. I'll probably send them out tomorrow. Get them all ready. So we'll be on here playing games. So join me when you can. Click my nose. Go up there and hit the follow button. And then get live notifications when you know I'm on. So when we play games, you can win. So I'm going to hop off here. Thanks for joining me for 50s Day. Thank you. Bye.